May you be blessed by the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Psalm 115 verses 15. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovey Starch Food Channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today on this menu, I'm going to make one of my absolutely favorite meal. That is Bambara beans with some rye plantain fritters, popularly known as kaklo. It is absolutely delicious fam. If you want to know how I make mine, please stay tuned. So here I had got about two and a half cups of Bambara beans, which were straight from Ghana and it is one of a kind. It has this beautiful colors of mixtures and according to the seller, this is the real organic one. And true to be told, the results of this Bambara beans just amazed me it was absolutely delicious so before you start off you want to go ahead and pick out all the foreign materials and to speed up your cooking process you need to soak it overnight especially when you're cooking this on your gas or your stove okay it takes forever so today i kindly requested the help of my multi cooker to help me cook this and cut the cooking time into half so here i used about one hour 30 minutes so please make sure you do not add salt right from the beginning as it's going to prolong the cooking process for you, okay? This was about 1 hour 15 minutes into cooking and it was soft but I just wanted it to relax a little bit more. <laughs> okay that is how i like it so i cooked it on a low medium heat for about 20 minutes more so we are going to start with our kaklo or plantain fritters with that you need your overripe plantains do not throw them away i'll list all the rest of the ingredients below as well So with the help of my earthing bowl, I'm going to grind onions, peppers, ginger, the cloves and the grains of salem and I'll also add a little bit more of salt to make the grinding process even more easier. So we do not want the texture to be super super smooth. The one you see on your screen right here is just perfect. So once you achieve that, so you go ahead and peel off the skin of your plantains and cut them into it and carefully mash everything together. Very very gentle, okay? So as you carefully mix everything together, you go ahead and add about half cup of your plain flour. I'm using soft flour if you're in Ghana, okay? Not the hard flour, just a, the one you use for simple bakeries will be fine. You can also use corn flour or corn meal as well. Add a little bit of water, about a tablespoon and mix everything if you feel like it is too thick, okay? And I do have a secret to it. I love to add a, about half tablespoon of palm oil just to give it that glow on the inside. <laughs> it is absolutely delicious. And also go ahead and cut, chop some red onions for even more amazing flavor. Once you're done with that, you go ahead and fry it. And with the frying as well, I added a bit of palm oil to the normal oil. That's how my grandma will always do. And it's always delicious when she did it this way. It's very similar to tatale. This is not tatale. That is how she made her kaklo and it was always so, so delicious. Bear in mind, we are frying this on a medium heat, okay? You don't want it to be burnt immediately while it's not fully cooked on the inside, okay? So medium heat always win for this, okay? So please carefully turn them on each side until they are golden brown like this. This is about 10 minutes of frying on a medium heat. They are so super tender, very naughty, very delicious. You are good to go. 
go repeat until you are done everything is done now so so delicious please do not throw away your overripe plantains okay so i'm done with that part i'm going to now season our beans the bambara beans to that i'll add a bit of onions some stinky fish which plays a very important role in this dish do not omit that okay it's absolutely delicious mix everything well together allow it to infuse very well and finally add some salt to this so you can also decide to mash a bit of the beans but i do really prefer it this way go ahead and also infuse some of palm oil just to give it that beautiful touch at the end found this dish is so so easy very delicious tasty and it just bring back good good memories so you are done please go ahead and serve yourself this nutritious meal and this is exactly what i was talking about concerning the gobe inspiration i add a bit of gari to it as well and also go ahead and add my kaklo or the plantain fritters it's absolutely naughty <laughs> so tasty the only thing missing on this platter was my avocados but the eggs really did a good job okay <laughs> sprinkle that delicious infused palm oil and you will be good to go come check this out fam just look it is absolutely naughty so so good melt in the mouth deliciousness <laughs> amazing i really hope you give this a try family it is absolutely delicious healthy and very filling and it's also really very inexpensive loaded with lots of proteins and this is also for my vegans out here do try this and you're going to absolutely love it please do well to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe share to a few friends and family and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey statch my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one